Hello and welcome to the Powerful Personal Brand Podcast, where I and my guests share tips to help and inspire you to build a great personal brand to increase your visibility and authority. I am your host, Claire Bond, and on today's show, I am joined by Laura Templeton. Um, I would love it if you could kind of give like three, five, whatever kind of succinctly like networking tips or maybe um, kind of your 30 second message tips, something that someone can kind of write down, work on after listening to this episode. Yeah. So I think the best thing to remember is n- number one, prepare, mm. right? know what you want to say before you show up, practice your 30 second message ahead of time, write it down, practice it in the car. I still practice mine from time to time. And that way you're going to be more focused on the people in the room rather than on what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two, be intentional about your networking, where you're networking and who you want to connect with. Be, and what I mean by intentional is have a plan. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you have a plan. And then number three is remember to follow up. So if you gathered, you grabbed a few business cards, write a little note, what you want to follow up on, what did you talk to, what did you talk about with that person, what do you need to follow up with them, send them a quick email after the event, hey, it was great to connect with you, I really enjoyed our conversation about X, I'd love to schedule time to have a coffee chat, if you want to, yeah. like if it's somebody you genuinely want to, um, and, and make sure that, but the follow up is so important, a lot of people miss out on opportunities because they don't do what they say they're going to do. So if you promised someone you were going to share some information with them, make sure that you do it. Yeah. If you promise someone you're going to make an introduction, make sure you're going to, that you do it. Follow through is a big, big piece of it. Yeah. I think for me, the hardest part is definitely the follow through. If it's at a big conference or something like that, where it's like multiple days and you're kind of like doing all of these events and you're networking with tons of people, sometimes I just get home and I'm exhausted cards, you know, I have a ton of cards or, or other, you know, whatever screenshots on your phone or whatever it is to, to return, you know, to connect with somebody later. And yeah, then you jump back into work because you haven't been working for however many days. And a lot of times I just, it doesn't happen. And I'm like, wow, I should have done it right then, even when you're tired. Do you have any tips for that? I do. So make sure you have a template, okay. right? An email template, just like a standard template. Hey, loved meeting you at such and such an event. All you got to do is plug in the event. Would love to schedule time to continue our conversation and look forward to hearing from you again soon. So that's number one. You could you can actually ask your VA, your admin, someone to send that out to you. I used to take pictures of the business cards, send them to my VA and say, this one gets this template, this one gets this template. Nice. So she would know whether it was, and where whether they were going into my CRM or not was another piece of it. Mm-hmm. The other thing that you can do, remember, they're just as busy as you are. So even if you read, if it takes you a week or two to reach out, do it. Okay. You'd be surprised at how people respond to the fact that you still took the time to reach out to them. And Mm -hmm. you can say, hey, you know, I know time has escaped both of us. I haven't had a chance to to reach out, wanted to follow up because I was thinking about our conversation just the other day and I wanted to let you know that um, it still made an impression on me. Yeah. In certain situations like that, I I find myself kind of thinking like, what do I have to lose? Are they going to be like, right, oh, exactly. I hate you. Like, no, they're not. Yeah, they're probably just as busy. <laughs> um, and like, literally, exactly. who cares? Put yourself out there. Yep. Yeah. No one's yep. going to be like, you're a horrible human. Yep. I can't believe you emailed me. Yeah. 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 And if they yeah, have, most of the time they appreciate really, it even more. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I just okay. had that conversation oh, with you somebody the other day. Person. Sorry, got mixed up. <laughs> you were the crazy one that was a, that was like trying to like I was trying to like get off of me. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Yeah. I know for me that networking is a very very hard thing. So I always um, I feel like I always gain the most information from this um, from these kind of conversations because I I yeah I don't like it. I don't find that I'm a um, I don't think I'm a shy person or an introvert, but sometimes it's just easier. It's comfortable if you find the one person to talk to or if you're there with a friend or whatever, And but you're not getting mm-hmm. really the benefit out of, of the networking. So I am I love these tips. They're so amazing. Yeah. Um, they're such- and you just hit on something else that's a really great tip. Take a friend. Yeah. When you go to networking events, take a friend because that's kind of your lifeline. 
you know, if you're like me and I have a little bit on that introverted tendency mm-hmm. and I like get overwhelmed when there's a lot coming at me at one time, I'll like kind of withdraw and either go like to a, you know, like a corner yeah. <laughs> and I go to your corner yeah. or my table and grab a glass of water, just kind of collect myself and, and then re-engage or I'll find my friend, mm-hmm. right? Who's she having a conversation with? Then, then it doesn't feel so overwhelming yeah. to join that conversation yeah. with a friend. I like that. I, I, I sometimes have a tendency to, to, to lean on them a little bit, but I, I actually went networking with a friend and she made me like, you know, you go over to that side, I'm going to go over here and we'll eventually meet up. And it ended up being um, a pretty good thing. So I, I sometimes need this swift kick in the, in the butt to, to do it, to get out of my comfort zone. <laughs> 